Oh, Snookums, what's wrong? Felicia, it wasn't that bad. Zoe, what happened to my baby? Oh, nothing, just boy problems. Boy problems? Oh. Come on, Felicia, it wasn't even all that bad. I don't even know why anyone would like me. I mean, look at me. I have to wear these stupid glasses. And my hair, it makes me look like a gigantic poodle. Felicia, stop it. And all my clothes just make me look like an enormous potato. Actually, I love potatoes. And hypothetically, potatoes are a vegetable. Felicia, it wasn't even that bad. What part wasn't that bad, Zoe? The part where I got trampled on and all my books fell everywhere in front of the cutest boy in school, Max? Or the part where my SpaghettiOs flew everywhere on the lunch area and Max was there too, and everyone saw. Felicia, everybody thinks I'm a great big nerd. I could still hear them laughing at me. Oh my God. Felicia, you need to find your confidence, girl. Everyone has bad days. Oh yeah? When was the last time your SpaghettiOs flew everywhere in front of the lunch area, Zoe? You're one of the most popular girls in school. You wouldn't know. Oh, so that time when I tripped in front of the entire boys' soccer team, got a bloody nose, got back up and tripped again, doesn't count. Well, oh, and that time I sneezed while I was presenting my science project and every last booger exited my body and I gave Mr. Lipschitz a snot shower. <sighs> You're just better than me, Zoe. Everyone likes you no matter what happens. No, Felicia. It's what you do after something bad happens to you that makes a difference. You see, when I fell down in front of the entire boys soccer team, I didn't just stay there, I got back up and took a bow. It's called confidence. And when I gave Mr. Lipschitz a snot shower, ew, I held up my presentation beakers and yelled, science, confidence. What are you doing? Invite him in. No, I can't. It's Max. Max, Max. The Max. The Max I tripped in front of. The Max I spaghetti in front of. Max. Cute Max. It's Max. Yeah, and after all that, the Max is standing in front of your front door that you just slammed right in front of his face. Oh. I... Right. Okay. <sighs> Hi, Max. Hi, <laughs> Hi, Max. <laughs> Felicia, invite him in. Won't you please come in? I came by to make sure you were okay. Me? Really? Yes, you. When you dropped your books at school today, I tried to come help you up, but you ran away too fast. Oh, and here's your book. You missed it when you picked up all your stuff. Thank you. And then today at lunch, I was thoroughly impressed with your lunch setup. I mean, it's not every day you see somebody use real utensils. That's pretty classy, Felicia. <laughs> Thanks. Anyways, when I saw your SpaghettiOs flying, I came over to share my SpaghettiOs with you because SpaghettiOs are my favorite, and I wanted to share mine with you. But by the time I got to where you were sitting, you were gone. My favorite are the alphabet kind. I love to spell out words like recusant. Recusant, someone who refuses to conform to established standards of conduct. And that's what I like best about you, Felicia. You're someone who refuses to conform to established standards of conduct. You're not like all the other girls. Oh, Max. I like your confidence, Felicia. Hey, that's what she said. Ed. Zoe? Yeah. Hey, did you ever get a chance to read this book? Mm -mm. It's really good. You should totally read it. 